Mm, believe it or not, this video is actually requested by you guys. Uh, there is a lady who at least twice asked me to create a pretty bow video. At least six months ago or more was the first time she asked me, but that time I was thinking, really? Is there a really a need for a bow video? But as time went on and I started having the one minute uh, videos, there you go. A bow can fit in that subject easily. I'm gonna show you how to make this gorgeous, stunning looking pretty bow within a minute. Actually, it's nearly only 30 seconds. It's so easy. Everyone can make a bow because everyone can do the shoelaces, right? <laughs> but this is a double thing kind of bow and it's much more prettier than ordinary bow. It's easy, it's fun, it's for everyone and even for left-handed people. <laughs> so I hope you will enjoy that and I hope this little addition will be perfect for your cards, scrapbooking pages and maybe even for hair clips and things. So, Firstly, yeah. I will show you how to make that bow within a minute and then I'm gonna break it down for you so everyone can follow up. Uh, am I for, up for a challenge? Yes, I am, so let's do it. super pretty bow is here and we need some scissors to do the um, the little flaps not flaps you know the little ending that it's very pretty pretty and here as well and it's there <laughs> Time to do it in a slower pace so you can follow uh, follow me easily. We will need a satin, beautiful satin lace and it's around 50 centimeters, 50 centimeters. To start off, we will be using those two fingers and we have to leave that bit a bit longer. Hold this part with your finger so it's not gonna slip anywhere when you will be maneuverating. And you have to see that you have a pretty shiny part of the of the lace and less pretty. If you don't mind doing it, then um, you don't have to watch it and you can do it even faster without twisting the, the lace. But I'm gonna show you with the twisting version because I think it just looks nicer than when I was just learning, I've done without it. And then I have decided to twist the lace and make sure that all the bits are nice and shiny. So we are having the shiny part here holding uh, with our finger and we go around here oh, oh go around here we go back there and we go underneath it and in the meantime we have to twist it because we have to make sure that the pretty part is visible same here we are not going like this we have to twist it in order to have make sure that the pretty part is only visible and that's really it that's really it then whatever it's left has to go through has to go through here very much all the way down all the way all the way you see and again watch which is the shiny part and you already can feel that you're stretching everything and you are gonna go you have to support it somehow and make sure that it will just be secured we have to go under this but not this direction but opposite so we have to kind of go under around it here we go here oops sorry we are going here <laughs> it's not that easy uh, in a way but it is so and then once it's uh, uh, once you you have it under you pull it that direction so to have your 
pretty bits sticked out the same way. And your bow is done. Did that make sense? <laughs> my under my explanation. So I'm gonna do it again, will I? I will guys do it again and before that you just take in your bits you put it in half roughly hold it and you are cutting this like this it's nice to take a maybe a lighter and just gently touch it so it's not gonna those little bits won't go. In Polish you say siepać, which I think it's a nice word. My parents were always saying that my trouser, trousers, you know, underneath the, the, um, the where, where they were touching the shoes, they were always saying, oh, your trousers are siepać. <laughs> which, um, okay, it might be, it's not funny, but it's funny for me. It just sounds so funny. Siepią uh, się. <laughs> Polish language is quite difficult. So basically now we are going with the second one. And, and I'm saying that joke now because since my video about harmonica made such a viral amount of comments and laughs that instead of saying um, accordion I said harmonica because that's in Polish uh, kind of version and or U European version and you ma you had such a laugh me too I have to say I, I was laughing with you when you pointed out that <laughs> I said it wrong so now so it's not gonna be Shepach, it's the word, but in English, it, I don't know, so I'm not gonna even try to find out. You know what I'm saying. There we go. This is what we have. Our gorgeous, pretty, super stunning bow. How easy is that? Let's do a quick, quickly one, one more. So it's a rough 50 centimeters, just around a 50 centimeters. I do it again because you know yourself that maybe second time will be not the same. Maybe you will, maybe somehow I will show it differently and it will just be easier for you to see it, which I will try to make sure that you see everything. So again, the shiny part, slightly longer here. So afterwards we can cut it and you going, you going and over this finger, over this finger, going towards the next one, but in the meantime you twist it and over, same here, under, twist it, twist it as in just go, um, you know, just twist it to the shiny part, and oops, I do it again. Yeah, you have to hold everything because it will be just so over twisted over twisted and then you are going right in there completely fully make sure your shiny part again is here that's the shiny part that's not that's not that is shiny part and you have to go under here I'm holding my hand very strangely because some of you may recognize that my right hand is not fully functional. I never said anything about it. Uh, and I'm not gonna be showing anything, but just mark my word, my right hand and fingers are not fully functional. That's why it's always, my hand is always closed because I can't stretch it. So even though my hand is not really fully working, I still manage to do the bow. So I, I believe you will be equally good doing your own bow. Uh, yes, so for those who always wondered about my hand, about why am I holding my fingers like this all the time, well, I had an accident when I was a child and this is something that is with me for my all my life and I don't even think about what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, it's just natural in me and I, I cannot use my right hand fully, I cannot stretch my fingers, I cannot stretch my, my, my hand as such so anyway uh, I don't think it's that important <laughs> but uh, some some of you were asking me sometime on the videos and some of you never did but probably plenty was wondering why am I doing this uh, that way so this is it it's just not working fully and I that's why I'm left-handed so yeah there we go guys one more bow pretty bow you can finish off with the lighter to make sure that the endings are not gonna be <laughs> and that's it you are done we are done with our pretty bows
oh I, you can also open up your bow and just have it you know instead of having this kind of more together you can just or more together like this one you can just open up that you can use them for um actually those are from my dad he got them for me when i started card making and i was always feeling so guilty that i didn't use them enough as you can see they're like three years old or something and i'm delighted that i can use them finally because they are gifted by my dad he bought them for me i have another one yeah a very shiny or uh, pink like this and i have dark blue they were for baby cards you know for baby boy and baby girl cards so they, those bows are actually perfect for baby boy and baby girl uh, newborn cards absolutely perfect and also uh, for hair clips imagine that being a hair clip or the rub the bun the bun the band here or the hair band you know it's absolutely absolutely perfect i think uh, so yes you i have to finish them all because i never did and they kind of chepa 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 they chepa chepa <laughs> i will be teaching you polish maybe <laughs> on this channel no i'm kidding and yeah that's it that's it so if you uh follow up this tutorial it's not my original or oh, i should say that i have found it online somewhere um but I thought that it's the easiest ever thing and the prettiest and the fastest. So that's why I shared it with you. So if you follow up, I would love to hear from you that you made your own bows, that it was helpful and needed. And please tag me on your photos uh, and then make sure you come in to say hello in the ca cafe, Marimi's Creative Cafe on Facebook, the group for creative people that watches those videos. Uh, you are more than welcome to join. It's free, of course. Send a request. Sometimes uh, you may feel you're not accepted yet because we get so many requests that daily on a daily basis that it's very hard for us to check every profile, make sure that everyone is okay to join and it just takes time. Uh, I have a uh, two gorgeous ladies helping me, Anya and Patricia, my two great friends who are there with me um, being admins of the group. So you're more than welcome to come and say hi and show us what you do, show us photo of your beautiful projects and don't feel intimidated, there's plenty beginners, plenty those who just starting so I promise you you will absolutely love it enjoy it you can always join and if you don't like it you can always leave up to yourself but it's a community for you that I've opened for you to feel a part of something very special and I promise you Marimi's Creative Cafe it's a place to be uh, yes guys that's it I should wrap up because a minute video turned into god knows how long <laughs> Yeah, uh, anyway, <laughs> that's just me. Thank you so much for your time, for watching, and I would love you to share this video with your friends, and it would be great. So, till the next time, bye! Oops! Bye! Bye! I think it's the right time for a coffee, a little sip of coffee. I'm gonna show you my mug actually because it's so pretty, you have to Look see it. Look at this gorgeous mug, it's a gift from Sam. Uh, my great friend from Australia and uh, she gifted me this beautiful sparkly mug and uh, she knows I love coffee so yes this is my uh, treat for today and uh, the way from Australia isn't it gorgeous and pretty <laughs> thank you Sam by the way <laughs>